Hello all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandramani Pandey and thank you very much for watching my other videos. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to create a macOS DMG application in Intune using PowerShell script. If you have been following me, you know that I have started a series where I discuss how to create all types of applications in Intune using PowerShell script. In the previous video, we explored how to create line of business application or Win32 MSI application in Intune using PowerShell script. If you haven't watched those videos yet, I highly recommend checking them out. In this video, we will see how to automatically create a DMG application in Intune using a PowerShell script. This script is almost fully automated, requiring a only few user input to generate a new DMG application in Intune. So let's dive in and see how it works. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more Intune and PowerShell automation content. Now I am on my client machine and let me first show you the Intune portal. And if you go to the apps and select the macOS application section, we can see that we don't have any macOS application as of now. So let's create some of the Mac application using PowerShell script. So to create a macOS application using PowerShell script, First, we have to download the script from my GitHub location and I have already downloaded the script and saved in the download folder. Let me open this script as an administrator. PowerShell ISC as an administrator. So now we have to update the user input section and within user input section, we have to provide the application name. We have to provide the publisher name. We have to provide the application uh, download URL and we have to provide the application logo download URL. And we also have to provide the group ID on which you want to uh, deploy this application as an available application or required application or uninstall application. And we also need to download and install the 7-zip application. And we have to provide the location where we have the 7-zip application installed. So let me first download the 7-zip application. So to do this, we have to go to the URL and I have already provided the URL. This is the location from where you can download the 7-zip application. So let me go to this URL and download the 7-zip application. Let me install this application. Now we have successfully installed the 7-zip application. Now we have to find the path of this application. So go to the C drive. Go to the program files. And go to the 7-zip folder. And then we have to copy this 7-zip application file location. Copy as path. And go to the script. And first thing we have to update the 7-zip path location. So let me update this. Okay, now we have to update the group ID. So let me go to the Intune portal. And I want to make this application available on this group. Now I have already created a group called macOS application testing group. And we have to copy this object ID. Let me copy this object ID and go to the script. And then we have to make sure that we update this group ID accordingly. And I want to deploy this application in available mode so I am ok with that otherwise you can also change to the required or if you want to uninstall it you can also go for uninstallation ok and now what we have to do we have to 
update the application so for the first application i am going to show you how you can create notion 4.7.2 application and uh, update the publisher name accordingly and then you have to provide the app download url so let me just copy this url and show you what is the meaning of app download url so when you are searching this url on the internet and click on enter you can see that it automatically started downloading the content so we want the direct url so that this script is automatically downloading the content and the same thing we also need for app logo download url let me show this app download logo url so if you copy this and go to the internet and paste this now we can see that the logo so we want this png or jpg file logo so that we can upload it after creating the application in intune that's all we need in the user input section we need to provide the application name publisher name app download url and then app logo download url and then we also need to install the 7th application and provide the location where it is installed we have to provide the group id and the install mode once we are done with this we just need to select all this and click or run and now we can see that the script is downloading the required modules if not already installed and it is going to install the dmg setup file and the logo file and the required binaries as well as it is going to use the 7zip application to extract the dmg content so that it can find the detection logic for that application and if you go to the c drive you can see that there is a folder called mac dmg app creator if you go that it is going to download all the necessary binaries within this folder like in the notion 4.7.2 we can see that we have three folders one is source folder where it is going to download the dmg file in the output folder it is going to extract the dmg content and find the detection logic using the script method and then in the logo file it is going to download the logo so let me go back to the script and wait for some time and now we can see that the application downloaded as well as the logo is also downloaded and now we can see that the application GUID is this application version is this this is the cf bundle identifier notion.id and this is the cf bundle short version string which is 4.7.2 now it is uploading the content in the intune portal using the az copy or txt file And now we can see that the application uploaded successfully in the Intune portal. And we can also see that the commit phase is also completed successfully. And uh, logo is also uploaded in the Intune portal successfully. And we can also see that the assignment is also successful. And now it is. And in the last, it is going to remove all the temporary files. And now if we go to the Intune portal, go to the Mac OS application. We can see that the application is now created and we can also see that the assignment is also showing as yes if you click on this application and go to the properties we can see that the application logo is also there and if we go down we can see that the detection logic is also there and if we scroll down 
we can also see that the assignment is also showing as an available for this particular group so that's how you can create any dmg application in intune portal using powershell scripts i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video